Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So today we are looking at the Oppo A59 5G. So this is an interesting find here, this Oppo A59 series, because this one sits at around 15,000 rupees and at this price range, there is plenty of competition out there. And should you even buy this phone or check out this phone? So I'll tell you in this video, make sure to watch the video till the end. It's going to be interesting. Usually the Oppo A series, they have offered very well feature set for the pricing that they have kept in the past, but I don't think it's uh, quite there anymore. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the display. They have gone with the LCD display that is not even Full HD+, plus, so it gets a HD+, plus, which is very, very average, I would say. Even tilting the phone like this would shift the colors at times, especially the brightness, and uh, I don't know why they have gone with the LCD display. At this price range, you are getting plenty of phones with the Super AMOLED display, I'll tell you in this video, so make sure to watch the video till the end. Alternate phone recommendations are coming up soon. This Oppo A59 also gets 5000mAh battery, which is okay enough if you look at the battery, and you also get the 30 3 watts uh, super book charger so the charging is fast enough battery is quite good because you don't even get the full hd display so obviously the battery will be better so if you look at the build quality design it's very boxy in terms of shape they i, I think they've gone with this model so that uh, it looks premium or it gives premium feel of course at certain angle at certain hold you get that premium finish but again it's quite boxy and doesn't give you that womb factor at all so owning this phone would be like very boring i would say and as regard to camera this bigger uh, layout what they have gone with Ringa Ringa Roses so this is not quite good at all I mean they've gone with the 13 megapixel where you don't get low light photos on par with the rest of the competitions because they've gone with the f2.2 aperture if you look at the competition you get the f1.75 f1.8 aperture lenses there so in low light conditions that would be really helpful there but here Oppo has gone with the f2.2 aperture which is not great and that to 13 megapixel only and apart from that you don't get the optical image stabilization or any other feature set with the camera again they've uh, included only two cameras one for the depth sensor and with regard to selfie camera it's not quite great at all so it's just f 2.0 of course you get plenty of feature set that oppo usually throws in with the color os and those work great so there is no problem with the operating system or the feature set that they have thrown in but then the phone itself the hardware itself so they've gone with the mediatek 6020 chipset i mean come on this is 2024 and you could have gone with the better chipset maybe 7020 or uh, let's say 6080 what redmi note 13 has at this price range you obviously get those processor with other brands so why oppo has decided to get stuck with the 6020 processor i don't know so again it's an average performer those are major drawbacks i don't know why would you even consider buying this oppo a59 if suppose this was priced at around 10,000 rupees let's say would have definitely suggested you but then again just using this phone for quite a while would not deliver for the 15,000 rupees price range so that's the major drawback here price versus value is what you should always look for especially if you're within this price range they have boasted the 300% volume from the speaker so that's not a key selling point here at all because who would keep the loudspeaker loud and watch so you would usually plug in the headphones and watch whatever you want so alternate phone recommendation there are plenty out there so first one I would go with the Poco M6 Pro it is priced at around 12,000 rupees amazing phone 90 Hertz display of course this one also has 90 Hertz display but again it's just LCD with the Poco M6 Pro you will get the AMOLED display which is amazing and with regard to the camera they have given the 50 megapixel camera there which is a better performer than this Oppo's phone there is also the Motorola G54 5G again sits at around 15 to 16,000 rupees sometimes with offer you get at around 14,000 rupees amazing phone 6 GB 128 GB and uh, you get the optical image stabilization 50 megapixel there and better display 120 Hertz uh, super AMOLED display is what you get there so it's quite amazing phone for the price there is also realme 11x again sitting at around 12 13 14 thousand rupees or you could opt that phone as well but this one a59 if price it below 10 thousand you could pick this one up otherwise this is not a recommended phone so this was my unbiased honest review let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below which one are you going to pick up so if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe for unbiased reviews and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends so that's it thanks for watching i will see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,